say in Nashville, Tennessee, it's time for the Family Feud. Introducing our champion, the Walker family. Ready for action. Playing again, the Earth family. On your mark. a week of Family Feud with our Southern Pride host, Ray Cole. Thank you! Thank you so very much. Thank you! Thank you. Say hello to the Walker family, if I can, just for a minute, from Nashville, Tennessee. And I also want to say hello to the Earth family, right here from Nashville. We are proud to be broadcasting from Opryland, USA, the home of the Grand Opry. We're going, to be, we're going to be highlighting and showcasing Nashville families all week. They want to battle it out to see if they know what 100 average Americans say and can they possibly win $20,000. Let's start out with our bullseye game right now. Come on, Keith. Here we go. Good luck. Chelsea. Thank you. The Walker family are the current champions and they have $11,700 in their bank. We put a minimum of $5,000 into the bank of each player's right now. Bam. That's the least you could play for. Good luck. This question is worth $1,000 toward building your bank. We ask 100 people, tell me someone you need an appointment to see. Chesley. A doctor. Is a doctor the bull's eye? This is worth $2,000. Name an occupation where a great speaking voice would give you an advantage. Sherry? President. Is the president the bullseye? Bullseye politician! Right on target 7,000 for the Earth family. Here we go, and this question will add $3,000 to your tail. So listen to the wording. Name a toy you always see in pictures at Santa's workshop. Shanty. Shantai. Shantay with an attitude. What do you say? <laughs> Barbie doll. A Barbie doll in pictures at Santa's workshop. You hit the bullseye. Ten thousand dollars in the Earth Family Bank. Good luck for this $4,000 question. Listen to the wording. Name a famous Charlie. Grace? Charlie Daniels. <laughs> you can tell me in Nashville, is that number one? Charlie Daniels. <laughs> 100 average Americans, Betty. A famous Charlie. Brown. Charlie Brown. He'll be a good man if he's the bullseye. <laughs> Could he be more, I don't know what's up there. Could he be more famous than Charlie Chaplin? What's the bullseye? Charlie Chaplin. Here we go with our final $5,000 bank building question. That name is Jacqueline. Yes, sir. And Caroline. Right. $5,000. Name something that a proud father keeps in his office. Caroline. Pictures of his kids. You've added $5,000 to your bank if you hit that bullseye with pictures of children. Bam! Right on target. And we have $10,000 built into the Earth Family Bank. The Walkers have built $11,000. And we're going to come right back and play the feud. you got to win the feud to play fast money for all that money in the bank. Stay tuned. Family Feud from Opryland, USA.
imagine. And it's time to play the feud. Come on, Chief. Let's go. Chesley. Good luck to the champions. Right now, the Herb family have built a $10,000 bank. The Walker family have built an $11,000 bank. But Keith, I got to ask you, you know you have to get to 300 to play fast money. Is the Earp family in any way related to the infamous White Earp? My grandfather says we're about three uncles back. <laughs> Which means you can shoot this family down. We draw fast and shoot straight. What's that? We draw fast and shoot straight. All right. Well, maybe you never heard of the Walker family from Tennessee. Here you go. We ask 100 people this question, and we place the top five answers on that board. Let's get this feud going. Tell me a phrase that is emotionally difficult for people. Go ahead there, Keith. Say I love you. Well, I love you, too, but we've got a show going here. It's a phrase that is emotionally difficult for people to say. Keith thinks I love you, made it. Yeah. Number one, you can steal. Here comes. What? Yeah, absolutely. Sherry, I know that you emotionally have no trouble <laughs> saying any phrase, but 100 people, difficult emotionally, Emotionally difficult for people to say. I'm sorry. Boy, oh boy. Let me see. I just called to say I'm sorry. Bam! There it is, number one. Number one is I love you. Number two is I'm sorry. I don't love you, so. <laughs> so tell me that name again. Shantae. Shantae. Yeah. Tell me a phrase that is emotionally difficult for people to say. I hate you. I hate, I hate you. I, no, that's an easy one to say. Grace? Please forgive me. Okay. Please forgive me. Is it there or is it two strikes? Walker family? You've got 82 points that could belong to your bank at least. That's right. Jacqueline, I know that this, emotionally, this is not difficult for you to say, but some people it might be. I was wrong. I'm wrong. I love that accent. Thank you. Are you still? You'll be right if we see I was wrong. <laughs> Bang! Good job. Two more answers there, Keith. A phrase that is emotionally difficult for people to say. Sorry we can't attend. Sorry we can't attend. Well, I hate to bring it up, but you weren't invited, Keith. You want to say sorry, but we can't attend. Right. I think I'll just walk on over here now to the walkers and get ready for this. Let me just see. Sorry, I can't attend. Oh. Tell me a phrase that is emotionally difficult for people to say. One answer. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Betty? Oh, Dale? he died or she died. He, he died. Shut up, he died. <laughs> Goodbye. Shut up, he died. Goodbye, I'm leaving. I want a divorce. I want a divorce because he died, so shut up and goodbye. <laughs> Tell Chesley what you wanted to say. There are two answers for the steal, and I need it in three seconds. I'm going to have to say with John, goodbye. Is it a steal? With? <laughs> it's emotionally difficult to say goodbye. Bye or so long. The Earps take the first bank. You heard he died. And anybody, this crowd is great here at Opryland. You probably knew this. Emotionally, it's difficult for many people to say number three. Loved one gone. Is that he died? He died. John, you said it, but don't act like oh, you're Betty. Betty, but don't act he like died. you're the hero because you did not make her say it. <laughs> and number four. I, I wanted to know. Who said that? We're coming right back. Believe you me, the champions are not going to take this lion down. Family view from Africa.
Good luck. We are, we are doubling this point value, and some of the greatest, most notorious feuds in history have come from the South. Forget about the Hatfields and the McCoys. If you just tuned in, the Walkers and the Herbs are taking it to a, two, to a whole new level. One wants to play for 10,000, the other for 11. Top six answers are there. Tell me something most people do every day that a slob might not do for a whole week. Sherry? Pick up their clothes. Pick up clothing. There it is, but we got four answers. Jenny, you can stick it to them. Most people do every day that a slob might not do for a whole week. Wash dishes. Let me see dishes being dirty. Bingo! I think I'm a steal, dog. Come on, champs. John? Some... Take, Go ahead. take a bath. Yes. yes. Most people do it every day, but a slob only does it once a week. A bath. Yeah. Shower. 63 people said it, point value doubled, 160 in the bank. Come on, Betty Dale. Brush your teeth. That's right. I had a cousin who was a slob. He took his teeth out once a week and brushed them just like that. Let me see, brush teeth. Bam! Caroline. Um, make up his bed. Make the bed. We got no strikes. Look at that earth family, look at him. Look at the earth family. Come on, three of them. Look at him. You got him beat down, boy. They talked a big gun game. You got it? Clean sweep. We're going to take out the garbage. Yeah. Yeah. Most people do it every day for a clean sweep. A slob takes out the garbage once a week. Hope for the earth. Come on, he's a genie. Oh, I think take out You the do it every day. A slob might not do it for a whole week. Three seconds. Wash your hair. Yeah. Wa wash your hair. They're going to try to steal. Think over there, think. John? Change clothes. Is it? For, the, for this bank, change clothes. Bank! 184 to 84. He goes with another face off. Good luck as we triple this point value and the top. Five answers are on the board. Either team can now win. Listen carefully. We ask 100 people, tell me an item that people buy used. Chante. A car. Is a car. Number one. Number one. Think of that steel walkers. It could win you the game. You could play for $10,000 and be called the champions. And I might point out, the neat thing about being champion as I pick up the pace is that you get to keep coming back forever and ever and ever. An item people buy used. Furniture! Furniture! Number two. Come on, Jackie. Appliances. They buy used appliances. <laughs> Good try. It's funny, I buy new ones, but my wife never uses them, so it's a good joke. Believe me, you'll see it. They'll be laughing on TV. Keith, an item that people buy used. Clothes. Clothing! It's there. Yeah! yeah. Absolutely true. We got a shot of Gene Wood, you'd see what we're talking about. An item that people buy used, honey. Um. Three seconds. You can win this game with a steal if Shante does not know what's an item that people buy used. A television? TV! <laughs> Bank still belongs to you, but now this game can be stolen, champions. You'll play for 11 grand. Toys. Used toys? Jewelry. Jewelry? Boat. Boat? A house. A boat, a house, jewelry, toys. Tell her what you believe. A house. You're going with a house. A house. If a house is there, this game has been stolen from the Earth family. Is it? House. Yes! <laughs> Keith, let me say to you, a wonderful family. You played so well. We'd be proud to have you as champions, and maybe you would have got the chance if someone had said you buy number four used. Books. 
Let me shake the hand of a great Tennessee family and tell you that we love you. God bless you. Stay right here. You're so sweet. Jacqueline, good job. Stay here. Two players for $11,000. You're with me on stage. We're coming right back to play Fast Money for $11,000 with the Walkers. Tennessee. The Walkers going for $11,000 with 15 seconds on the clock in fast money. Good luck. Chesley, we ask 100 people these five questions. The first was asked of 100 women. How many times a month should a man have a night out with the boys? Five. Tell me something that a starter says to start a race. Go. Something you buy for your ears. Earrings. What's your favorite thing to put on toast? Butter. Something specific that people grind. A uh, pepper. Turn around. I asked you a question that we asked 100 women. How many times a month should a man have a night out with the boys? You said five times. <laughs> what did our survey say? <laughs> Tell me something that a starter says to start a race. You said, are you lined up, gentlemen? You said, go. Survey set. 29. Something you buy for your ears, you like. Earring survey like. 48. Favorite thing to put on toast, you chose. Butter survey chose. Bingo. Something that people grind, you said specifically. Pepper, what does survey say? You're okay. Back with your teammates. And here comes your mother, Jeannie. 73. For $11,000, Mom, you look straight ahead into America. 20 seconds on the clock. Good luck. We asked 100 people these questions. The first one was answered by 100 women. How many times a month should a man have a night out with the boys? Four. Tell me something that a starter says to start a race. Go. Try again. Uh, pass. Something you buy for your ears. Earrings. Try again. Uh, What's your favorite thing to put on toast? Jam. Something that people grind specifically. Grind coffee. Something that a starter says to start a race. Uh, turn around four of the five. Getting 73. 100 women. How many times a month should a man have a night out with the boys? You said the women said four times. What the survey say? 15. Our 100 women must not have been married. They said that. Once a month, once a month. <laughs> Something that a starter says to start a race, you said, nothing, no points. On your mark, number one, you put your buy for your ears. Second choice, you chose Q-tips. Survey said, well, earrings, number one. Something or your favorite thing to put on toast, you said, jam, this gotta be good. What did the survey say? you something that people grind you said coffee did eight people say coffee for eleven thousand dollars what did the survey say Ben, what's your name, hon? Stephanie. Stephanie, you want to give me? Thank you so very, very much. We love the Southern Hospitality. The Warriors are our champions. They have $22,720. And they'll be taking on another Nashville family next time. See you then. I'm Ray Combs. Bye-bye.
travel to Nashville. Weekends are when your favorite shows are on GSN. Good to be